On today's episode, Argonne National Laboratory has a plan for big data teamed with artificial intelligence. Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com TV today. If there's a single pacing element to economic, technological, and social growth in the 21st century, it's energy. Providing enough of it as demands increase, and doing so while dramatically reducing carbon emissions, is not only difficult and expensive, but it operates against an urgency brought on by climate change. In the United States, the infrastructure needs are colossal. The Department of Energy estimates that, in order to meet 2050 clean energy goals, 1.6 terawatts of new solar capacity and 200 gigawatts of new nuclear capacity must be brought online, while accelerating other alternates like hydrogen and geothermal sources. From a carbon cost standpoint, the DOE estimates that carbon capture and storage will play a part as long as the cost per metric ton of CO2 drops below $100, which is a stretch goal by 2050 with current technology. According to a new report by the Argonne National Laboratory entitled Advanced Research Directions on AI for Energy, the key to meeting both energy demand and CO2 reduction goals by 2050 may be artificial intelligence. The report describes multiple approaches for AI-enabled acceleration of green energy infrastructure. A key element is the digital twin, combined with advanced simulation to speed development, virtual testing and certification of new nuclear technologies, including small modular reactors, and nuclear systems intended for autonomous operation without human supervision. The report also recommends a nationwide sharing of digital twins for standardization of piping, valves, heat exchangers and cooling towers for faster deployment and economies of scale. According to the report, artificial intelligence-based systems could reduce project schedules by approximately 20% for new clean energy designs, potentially saving hundreds of billions of dollars by 2050. Dynamic management of grid electrical loads are also identified as an important application for AI as electric vehicle adoption increases electricity demand at rates which may exceed infrastructure build-out at current rates. AI is also predicted to be useful for analysis of resources, especially critical minerals, as well as possible geothermal reservoirs for geothermal electricity production and heat. Another goal identifies the development of new materials as crucial for alternate energy technology development and predicts the evolution of autonomous laboratories as AI automates materials development, testing and simulation, leading to new reactor technology as well as improved battery design. Yet another goal considers human factors and recommends the use of AI in a very large weather and population data set to more accurately predict the impact of rising CO2 levels, as well as plan for and mitigate damage to energy infrastructure by serious weather events. Weather is an important issue, with 28 unique weather events in the U.S. in 2023 costing the economy over a billion dollars. Argonne is a national laboratory, and naturally they identify basic research as the cornerstone to large problem solving in complex systems such as energy grids. Only small amounts of the hundreds of petabytes worth of data aggregated by American laboratories have been catalogued. The report recommends that generation of this data, along with information aggregated by the energy industry, government and academia, will be necessary to create the data sets necessary for AI problem solving. The Argonne report highlights a critical element of new technology development in the race toward a carbon-free energy system, time. With AI harnessed to very large... Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.